Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and today we got some goodies from V Color to take a look at. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so on today's video, I've been really lucky to have been sent a care package from our friends over at V Color. They've sent me this nice polo shirt, so I thought it would be a good idea to put it on and give the Mike's Unboxing t shirt a rest for the day while we go through some of these bits they've sent us. Now, if you're wondering who are V Color, now V Color are a memory manufacturer based in Taiwan and they do some really, really good stuff. I've done some reviews previously, which you can check out from the links up here, but their RAM is absolutely fantastic. And in my opinion, it doesn't get the recognition it deserves in the industry and in kind of sales and Amazon, that sort of stuff. Although things are picking up and they're starting to gain momentum, which is great for me because uh, I'm using their stuff already. But for those of you that haven't seen it, let's go into a little bit of depth of who V Color are, what they do, and what you can get out of it. So the first thing, V Color, like I said, from Taiwan, making memory modules. They've been doing it since 2006, so they've got a lot of experience. They've also got their own fabrication plant, and they do their own testing. So all the chips, they've got custom software and hardware to analyze which chips are gonna make the grade and which ones get cast aside to be given to the other manufacturers. So they do some really good stuff. They also have their own individual features like IMS, which is like a, a memory monitoring feature, which actually prevents memory from crashing before the crash has even happened. How cool is that? And the reason behind this is because a lot of their stuff is for servers. So they go really big into the server market, but they also do things for the likes of you and I, who like to have our mainstream PCs, our desktop PCs running and looking absolutely great. So let's see what we've actually got in this box. Now, as you can see, just a, a plain cardboard box, but inside we've got this. Now this is a uh, travel pack. Now I've actually been told by V-Color that this travel pack is gonna be a limited edition and will be available on Amazon stores sometime after May this year. Obviously because of the, uh, the whole thing going on in the world at the moment, that may be slightly delayed. But these products I'm gonna be showing you today, you can't actually buy until pr hopefully May time. So I'll be leaving links in the video description just to their generic products that they've already got on Amazon stores. But for the specific ones I'm showing today, you may have to wait a little while. So anyway, this is the travel pack, like I said, a limited edition, which you may or may not be able to get uh, later on in the year. Let's see what we've got actually inside it. So inside we have got a memory stick. So this is one of V Color's memory sticks. So you can pick up memory sticks, obviously, this is a promotional one. Let's see what else we get in this kit. So the first thing is a, a really, really kind of odd thing, which I'm surprised no one's done already. Now this is actually a patented product from V Color. These are RGB M.2 blanking plates. So if you've got an M.2 slot on your motherboard and it's looking pretty bare and pretty plain and you wanna brighten it up a little bit, then you can install these and you can actually get these to synchronize with your motherboard and give you some RGB glow. So this will brighten up those kind of dull areas of your motherboard underneath where your processor heatsink is generally, where there's not really a lot going on. So if you wanna brighten those up a little bit, you can install these. Now v cutter do actually do these with DRAM on as well, both in the M.2 SATA and M.2 NVMe style drives. Again, I'll try and link some of those in the video description. But these are purely RGB fulfillment slots. So you can put these in just to jazz up your motherboard a bit. Now they do come with various letters on them. So I've got one with a V and I've got one with an A, but there will be other options available should you wish to. So those are pretty good. And hopefully you've seen some of the B-roll, which has just been flashing up. You can see what they're gonna look like. I've used these on a ASRock X370 motherboard. Nothing special about it. It's just a standard M.2 slot. I think they look really good. And it's a really interesting thing to see. There's a lot of motherboards which are really quite plain, don't have any RGB. So you can plug these in and give them a little lift. Awesome. Now next up, there's a group of four products. Well, four memory sticks. But are they four memory sticks? Two of these are memory sticks. Two of these are RGB dummies. So what you can do is you can install just the regular memory sticks. Now these are actually the new Prism RGB Pro modules, which are out from V Color. Now these are a slight upgrade from the previous Prism and Prism 2s. The Prism 2s had the kind of uh, pastel thing going on on top for the RGB diffuser, whereas these are all clear and wow, they are so bright. Very, very bright modules indeed. And the thing is with RGB memory, most of us have got four slots on our motherboard or maybe eight if you're lucky. When you put the slots in, sometimes it looks a little bit bare. So what they've done is they've created a DRAM dummy 
So these look and feel exactly the same as the DRAM versions, but are just dummies to give you that extra RGB. And four is always better than two, right? So let's take a closer look at the RGB dummy. Let's take this out of the packaging. And the nice thing I like about this is they haven't just gone completely overboard on packaging. It's nice, simple, plain packaging and does pretty much what it says on the tin. On the back here it says V-Color product features, patented RGB non-DRAM full spectrum, 256 RGB lighting with excellent compatibility. Now I've actually found that out. I've tried using this with the Gigabyte motherboard and the PC behind me. I've used it with an Azrock motherboard and I've used it with an Asus motherboard. And in a couple of days time, I'll be trying it with another MSI motherboard. So at the moment it's worked fine with all of them. No problems at all. I actually do like the uh, MSI setup a little bit more. So I'm really looking forward to trying it out to see what it actually works like. So there is the actual module itself. Now it's extremely reflective. It is basically a completely mirror finish. So uh, look out in the video, you may see some odd reflections in them as Kath moves away from the camera. So these are using new and improved heatsink spreaders. Now the RAM itself, which we'll get into a little bit later, is actually improved as well. So the RAM modules themselves, I've got 10 layer PCBs to give you that little bit of extra isolation between the tracks and layers, which is really good. A lot of uh, manufacturers generally tend to use six or eight layers. So having a 10 layer, basically separates all the tracks, makes things a little bit better. But what I really like about these is how heavy they are. They are really, really heavy. So what they've done is, so the previous version, which was the Prism 2, actually had around about a 77 or 78 gram heatsink attached. Whereas these, when you weigh them, these are weighing in about 112, 115 grams. So considerably heavier, about 40 grams heavier, which actually is probably the weight of some of the more smaller VRM coolers on the market. So. So this is gonna help keep your modules really nice and cool and also give them a little bit of protection as well. But they do feel very, very substantial. And I really like the, the way they've designed this. So the clear kind of diamond-like shape on the front of the diffuser really lets the LEDs come out. There are actually, apparently there's seven LEDs in there, but I really can't tell when they're going through the lighting sequence, they are so well diffused, it could be just one complete strip. You really don't know. That's how good they look which is again, an upgrade. A lot of manufacturers have the kind of individual LEDs and they stick out and they just, it looks obvious which ones are LEDs. Whereas this being completely diffused, in my opinion, just looks a lot more futuristic and a lot more stylish. Also, you've got the little V logo on both sides of the RAM stick, which also lights up with the colors of the diffuser, which is really nice to see. Again, really, really heavy. So I'm gonna put this one down and let's take a look at one of the actual memory modules. And you'll find it very hard to actually see the difference between them. They do look, well, essentially they are identical. It's exactly the same PCB, just RAMless. So again, this particular model is the DDR4 4000 series. Now there are various options available. There's a 2666, 3000s, 3200, 3600, 4000, 4133. And no doubt as time passes, those figures will grow as memory speeds get quicker. But what I really like about these, these are actually using the Hynix D die RAM chips. So these are actually rated for up to 5,000 megahertz. Yeah, 5,000 megahertz. On both an ASRock X570 and an MSI X570 board, these chips have actually been clocked up to 5,000 megahertz, which normally you'd pay an astronomical amount of money for, which is another great thing about these V-Color RAMs. They are very good value for money. Now, I'm not gonna say they're cheap because they're not cheap, but you do generally find these on the market for around about 10 to $15 less than the kind of comparable competition, those Corsair, Thermal Take, those kinds of players. So if you're looking for some really good quality RGB DRAM, or actually any DRAM at all, V-Color is definitely worth a look. And again, as you've seen from some of my previous videos, I have been using most of their RAM for a little while now. And again, absolutely flawless. I've never needed to RMA, never needed customer support, anything like that. They've always just worked. Even with the XMP settings, generally you can just flick the XMP settings on and those settings will take in your BIOS. Obviously something to be wary of, depending what your motherboard is and what your processor is, especially with Ryzen's, you may not get the full speed out of your RAM without some manual tweaking. Now generally, with the second generation Ryzen chips or the 2000 series chips, normally they kind of top out around about 3200 to 3600, depending on the motherboard. 
that is quite commonplace. If you're looking to get the very most of the speed out of these, up to the 5,000 megahertz, then you will be looking at X570 motherboards. And again, not all X570s will actually allow you to get that speed out of it. So do be very wary of that. Despite what you may see advertised on clock speeds for various RAM manufacturers, they won't always get the speeds that you think they will. So do the bear that in mind. Again, these are really good and we will be trying to get some testing done on them and see exactly what we can get out of them on a slightly lower end board. Now I'm gonna be using the X570 ASUS Tough Gaming Plus. We're gonna see what we can get out of these. And that board generally tops out around about the sort of 4,400 megahertz mark, but we'll see what we can get them to. I've also ordered another motherboard, which is the MSI X570A Pro, which is a, a pretty much a budget board. But again, we're gonna see what we can get out of these sticks with a, a low end board, which some of you may well have. So there we go, I think that pretty much wraps up our quick unboxing and overview of our uh, V-Color Care package. I'm really excited to look forward to overclocking these and seeing what we can get out of them and see what the performance increases are gonna be like. If you wanna see how all that goes, don't forget to click on the subscribe icon and the chime icon and you'll be notified of future video releases. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and hopefully we'll see you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.